hi everyone in this video what I'm going to show you is how we can call and how we can uh, how we can pass parameters to store procedures that are there in the SQL Server database so what I'm going to do is this is our form okay and this text box is going to accept the uh, the employee ID and it's going to return us the employee name to us uh, and everything is going to go and everything is going to be go, uh, you know happening through uh, stored procedures which is going to be running in the background okay and this is the power of stored procedures you know it really gives rise to security when it comes to secure securing your application okay so I'm just gonna take you to the code and just show you I mean uh, don't get intimidated with all the codes it's pretty very simple it's very easy okay now we have uh, once we have uh, set the connection I mean uh, once we have made sure that the connection is working fine okay now the main part starts from here for the parameter thing okay and we are calling a uh, stored procedure which is called as my amp list okay this is the one right here okay and uh, it is accepting one parameter this is uh, I have declared a parameter here okay and it will be returning the last name to us from the employee table from the Northwind database okay and it's gonna pass the value here and come back to us like for example I can show you a little demo here okay this is the uh, the stored procedure name and I'm just going to pass I'm just going to pass a value here say 3 I just need to find the uh, the last name of the employee having the ID as uh, say say 1 for example okay so that is the name of the employee having a employee ID 1 okay so uh, <coughs> so here and this is the parameter name which was uh, de de declared here I'm just writing this one here and then I'm saying this is like a you know SQL DB type what is it is it int or care or whatever it is so I'm gonna show you this is the employee table okay it is declared as int okay this is the column name that we are we have created a, a, a parameter for and this is the data type here that is the reason why we have specified SQL DB type as int okay and we have specified one here and in the next line we are we are saying what is the direction I mean we are inputting the you know the parameter we are inputting the value into the stored procedure okay so we are saying the direction is input okay is pretty very self-explanatory okay then what we are doing here is uh, we are setting the value of uh, we are setting the parameter here to the value that is retrieved from the text box right here okay whatever the uh, employee ID user gonna enter is gonna be passed here and then be assigned to this value over here okay and then uh, what's gonna happen is I mean it's gonna do all the cal uh, calculation and everything it's gonna uh, do all that in the background and come back to me with a message box here with the value that we wanted okay so let's just go and run this application let's see uh, what happens okay so uh, here's our form and uh, it's asking me to enter an employee ID so now we'll enter the employee ID here I'll just enter one for example and let's see what the name of this employee is I'll hit on the find employee button name and then obviously it comes back with the employee name the video okay so uh, this is how uh, the uh, this is how it is done this is how to call a stored procedure from vb.net application so it is that very simple